This is why Goku is the motherfucking man. This is why Goku is the motherfucking man. Let's go. YouTube, what's going on? My name is Diary here with another video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, I'm going to uppercut you in the chin. I ain't playing. I ain't playing. Video, we're going to talk about my man Goku. Hit versus Goku, the rematch. I seen it yesterday with my dad and my brothers. It was an amazing episode. Despite the drawing, which I'm over already. I'm over that. <laughs> I'm over the drawing already. But this, despite of that, the rematch, Hit versus Goku, was amazing. Hit, as we all know it, has stepped into a whole new level. While Goku was away, beating up black and doing what he gotta do, Hit was training. This is what I've been telling my dad. Do not sleep on Hit. He's been training, been training. Just because your boy Fujita got stronger, that doesn't mean he's gonna take Hit on like that. Hit been training, okay? He's like on some 30 time leap skip, you know? it's. It's ridiculous, man. And what surprises me about this episode is that Goku put the hit out on himself. Did you hear what I just said? <laughs> Goku put the hit out on himself. You hear me? This is why Goku is the motherfucking man. He wants to test himself. Over and over and over again, he wants to test himself. And if this guy do not motivate you, I don't know, I don't know what. I do not know what. Goku wanted to test himself against Hit because he knew Hit was getting stronger. So he told Weez, please, please, can you please tell Hit to come and fight me, please? And that's what he did. Who is the motherfucking man? And it's not a matter of time before Goku's gonna get stronger, stronger, getting ready for this tournament. He's gonna take it. There's no doubt about it. My dad wants Vegeta to take it. And I think Vegeta should take it. I really do. Because he's been training too. Don't forget him. But this is why Goku is the motherfucking man. He don't care how strong you are. Even when he was about to die, he blasted that energy blast in the, in the, in the, in the sky. And it came down because he knew he was about to die. Goku could be anything you want. He could act slow like a kid up here or whatever. But when it comes to fighting, this guy is brilliant. It's brilliant. I'm getting hyped right now, man. I'm getting ready for this tournament, man. Let's go. Also, I just want to say Goku's the man. I'm, I'm going to get his tattoo, man. I told my dad next year we get, I'm going to put it all on video. I'm going to put it all on video, man. I'm definitely going to get the tattoo. Goku's the motherfucking man. Um, They're going to show more episodes of fillers with Gohan and all that shit. I don't think I want to watch. I'm probably I'm going to watch it, but I'm not going to pay no mind to it like that. But this was a very, very good episode. Let me know what you think in this episode. And one more thing, man. People on YouTube that talk about Dragon Ball, I know there's a lot of theories and stuff like that, but they swear they know they know what's going to happen when they don't know shit. My <laughs> fuckers don't know shit. Nobody didn't know this would, this would happen. Nobody didn't know. Oh, man. So, whatever you believe what you want to believe. Do not listen to any of these YouTubers that say this is going to happen this is going to happen yes yeah, some is theories and, but some is not okay they swear they know that a certain thing is going to happen in dragon ball which is bullshit all right so this is your boy dario coming back with more videos listen merry christmas happy holidays hope everybody have a wonderful new year 2017 is my year all right it's my year so stay tuned subscribe i appreciate your patience i'm out peace Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below.